Hey YouTube, uh, we're gonna do a little uh, installation today. So as you guys can see, we have the R720 XD ready for 14 more uh, drives. I do have some that are blocked. So these four are blocked. These two are mechanically failed, I guess during shipping. But um, that's what happens when you buy a refurbished data center drives. But you know what, it's better than nothing. I have extras than buying brand new ones. These are all SSDs, I'm just playing with some vSAN stuff right now, so. But what we're going to do today is install all these SFP 10 gig cards, Intel X520s, I believe. Yep. And the SAN server is going to have two, and then each host is going to have one. So, um, let's uh, pull the server out and then install it so you guys will get to see me pull out this uh, 620 I have to make sure that it's recording um, this one you guys will see has a bunch of uh, SSDs and six, four 300 gigabyte SAS I think 600 gigabytes SAS. Now I do lock the servers into the caddy so they don't roll out. I don't think no one's gonna make them roll out, but just safety. I believe that's all the screws. And this is the only server that I have on rails right now. I will. I ordered some more R720 rails. They are coming for the R720 XD and R720. So probably all you guys wanted to see 320 gigabytes of RAM, and these are all 16 gig sticks. Yes, I bought the server for fourteen hundred dollars. This server right now on eBay is going for a couple thousand dollars. So these are all sixteen gig sticks maxed out. These are the highest E5 series for the twenty nine sixties, I believe. I think these are these are two point nine gigahertz. It might be a three point zero, but not sure. There is the H seven ten mini um, RAID controller. You guys can see this is inside an R six twenty. So let's see, we've never pulled this out yet. So we got to figure this out. There's that. Boom. And this is a Broadcom that came with the server that I bought. Actually, I might move this to there, we'll see. I do have one little dilemma. I need to find my low profile adapter for this bad boy. Okay, had to do a little modification because I'm trying not to spend any more money since I already spent a lot on sands and drives and all that kind of stuff. Well, I just cut off the L bracket off of the card, so. So we do have the 10 gigabit card installed. Now, we probably will put back, I think, since we won't need the Ethernet, we'll just need gigabit. We will put this one back in here. And then, <coughs> install the riser back in. 
<laughs> there we go. As you guys can see, it's nice and uh, flush pretty well. There we go. And then this car, we won't need to put it back in there. We'll just keep that one out since we'll have already four gigabit there, four one gigabits there, and then one 10 gig for the SAM. I might get one more 10 gig car later since I'm going. I have I have bought the Cisco Nexus 5020, but for how much porch I need, that switch itself pulls 500 watts idle. So I'm kind of a little hesitant of running that so I I am returning that one and I bought a Cisco 5010 which is just the one new chassis um, I do have some pictures posted as well as my uh, uh, buddy he uh, posted the pictures of Techmeister if you guys want to check out his Facebook page and I'm having a very hard time putting this thing back on uh, it should be like there we go so yeah we got one server installed we are going to do the R720 next so we're gonna put the cover back on I'll put you guys back over here my lovely camera mount is actually two hard drives two four terabytes holding it how funny is that there's this Trying to double check if I need to do anything else to it. No. And we're going to update all these servers before we reinstall ESXi on it. It must be handicapped or something because I can't get the cover on. So one server done. Now we're going to power down this guy and keyword plug in your keyboard. Keyboard's plugged in. So. And shutting down. That was like the fastest shit that I've ever seen. So we're going to use the R720, R620 as a table for this one. Since I have no rails for this one yet. SF SFP could fall off the roof. The roof of the house. Here we go. So here we will show you guys R720 XD. Only 32 gigs of RAM. This server is not going to do much VM hosting other than having a bunch of drives. Um, 8, 710p mini perk as well as the back of the battery um, we got the card there 
and then we're going to install the 10 gigabit card into the middle for the best airflow we just need one I'm mean, trying to do two things at once is fun. There we go. And since this is the sand, the sand will get the dual 10 gig. Boom. Nice and snug. So yeah, there's, this is the inside of an R720 XT. You can put two and a half inch drives internal. I still yet have to find the caddies or the mounting system that I can use this. But um, yeah, that's about it. And here's the SAS expander. So you have SAS A, SAS A and B, and then A1. And the power is fed from underneath. So yeah. And then the last host, I can't do the installation of the SFP yet because I am backing up my file server, which is around 800 gigabytes of VM. So that one will be done off video. I did these two just for you guys to see what I am doing. And uh, stay tuned, subscribe, like or dislike, either one. Um, video, and stay tuned for more information uh, like the Facebook page I put more inf information and pictures on there and uh, yeah thanks for watching stay tuned